morning, beautiful people. We, we're here. We are here in Beirut, Lebanon. We are gonna get to see the orphans in a bit in the orphanage and really see the impact that all your guys' donations have had. A lot of hard work has gone up to the opportunity that we're about to have. And of course, we are going to take you guys with us the entire way, meeting the orphans, interacting with them, and really seeing you know, where your money is going to. We have a very long day ahead of us. Let's get to work, baby. Met some uh, some beautiful boys, mashallah. Show us Ali. Ali, show us Muhammad. Muhammad. Omar. Omar. Zabit. Yeah, yeah, mashallah. So we just got to one of the Syrian refugee camps, and honestly, I'm I'm legit blown away. Like it's so much to take in. It's so beautiful over here. There's over 120 camps that uh, give refuge to over 60,000 people. And the kids seem so happy to see us too. I don't think they get visitors very often. I think this is they came straight to our doors. Yeah, that we've been to. we talked to some of the kids playing soccer. A lot of the girls came and uh, gave roses to the gave other ro women. Yeah, it mashallah. It's beautiful time. It's here. beautiful but sad at the same time. So you know, well, we're we're gonna show you guys more details soon, but it's it's a lot to take in. So we just finished distributing pretty much all the uh, all the wood that people uh, are getting through your donations. And uh, as you guys can tell, we uh, we did some pretty heavy lifting under that. The entire area was full of these heaters, and we were able to, within 10, 15 minutes, give it to all the families. That we but alhamdulillah, it's amazing seeing, you know, the benefit that the money actually goes towards. Obviously, they use these woods for heat during the winter. Nights get really cold. And um, it was it was amazing to be able to actually, like, help out. Um, and yeah. Oh, Subhanallah, man, they're playing on, on hard rock. It's dangerous. I've seen, I've seen these kids get injured. I've seen them get scraps. And a lot of them are playing in bit. Like, if you notice, they're just playing in flip flops. Oh, look at that. Like, right there. What? 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 Stop, 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 stop. Shoot! God! God! Sue! Sue! It's so much fun, mashallah. And a three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I almost got pelted in the face. So we are we are done with our time here in this village. I honestly don't want to leave. All these boys are so beautiful, mashallah. We have to leave and visit uh, other families. I really don't want to say bye. I love these kids so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> من انت شفتها هو ما كنت تشوفها في في السماء صح بدنا نشوفها بالسماء بدي يشوفها بالسماء before us visiting um, it made their day something so small and she's just saying hopefully Allah gives you happiness like you gave us happiness for a simple visit you know subhanallah <laughs> <laughs> Those boys were the most loving and caring individuals that we have met in this trip so far. The director that does a lot of these kind of trips uh, for different charities told us that he's never seen that strong of a connection before between the influencers with, with the influencers and the, and the families. Like they didn't want us to leave. They were telling us like you have to come back. Like you've made us so happy. And so it's just, it's, it's so nice to see, man, but like, but the, it's, it's, sad, it's heartbreaking. It's hard. She, like, I literally, I remember we were, we were giving uh, one of the moms some money, like, before we left, 
she literally used to, when I went to hug her, like her knees were buckling. I know, like she I couldn't, know. like. You had to pick her up. It was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah man, it just gives you goosebumps, bro. And it's like, and it's like, those are the kind of moments where you're like, money just becomes worthless for you. For like, you, you would honestly, I'd be pieces, so bro. happy to just give it all away to make them, to make them happy. You saw like their feet, they're, they're, they're running in like slippers, right? On like hard rocks. And we had every single boy in the village holding our hand. Oh my God. Not letting us go. That was, ugh, I'm gonna miss Muhammad so much. So you guys, as always, we, we keep pushing the links that we have, they're going to be in our bios. It's gonna be in the link in the description. In the description. Um, there's over 120 camps here, over 60,000 people that need our help, that need your help. And you can only make a difference through the donations that you guys give. Our job is to be able to portray the story of them and to be able to show you guys what's going on over here. But subhanAllah, just hearing the stories that we say, hearing the stories that Muad tell and like our tour guides and everything, it does, wallah, it does not give it justice. It does not give justice to what they're actually going through, the struggles and everything. They were saying their, their, their house felt like a freezer. There's no, there's no windows, there's no insulation obviously, to the point where they were going to throw in their own clothes, like their hijabs and whatnot and silk. To burn it for to wood. To burn it for wood, to, to burn for, it for heat. For heat, for heat, sorry. It's crazy, And it's man. heartbreaking, it's man. It's heartbreaking you see families like that. Like, the siblings are the ages of our siblings, you know? And you see little kids, little boys. It's that thought in my head, man. Yeah. It's always like, what if these were one of my my brothers or like yeah, my son, man? That's just, it goes, it goes crazy. Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah for this trip. Uh, just a goat here, bro. Uh. A couple right there. Look at that. No, I'm not going in. Absolutely not. No. What am I getting myself into? No, my God. Get that thing away from me. Get that thing away from me. Brother, goats will eat anything. Oh, my God. This is sick. Are they sc they're scared of us. It's our turn. Please, so hey. So hey. So hey. So hey! Hey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not. Haram alik. Haram alik. Stop it! Ah, no, no, no. I'm not. Please, well, I know. Please, 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 please. No. إن في الدنيا سلاما وظلال أخبر الأيام أن في وصال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال. In the winter it gets very cold. In the summer it gets very hot. And then there's fungus and then there is humidity here and all her kids have allergies. So it's, it's actually not easy to live um, in this place, but she has no choice. She's alone and she depends on the aid that we provide for her. All right, Hassan's headed out to the airport now. That's it. So I go, this so is the man sorry. behind all the stuff that you yeah, guys see. It's all you guys, behind. man. It's all Everything. you guys. Love you guys. This is the man behind all of the behind the scenes, the one that's just like <laughs> taking care of all of the like our, our He did not sleep awesome, a single man. hour he in the last four days. He didn't sleep the whole trip. I texted him at 4 a.m. and he was up, responded in 30 seconds. Alhamdulillah. Hassan. Uh, uh, love you guys. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, bro. It's so nice. Man, I bless you guys. You guys are amazing. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much, guys. Keep donating, okay? Yeah, keep going. It's not over. I just want to say, um, uh, I've been on so many trips, I never get sad leaving. I usually, I'm so tired, I want to go home, like I'm emotionally drained. But this trip was the best trip I've ever been on. Everybody was so nice, all of you guys were so understanding, everybody worked hard. I honestly, I'm actually very sad. When you were saying, I, I sat crying, I, I'm holding it in, I'm holding it in. Because it truly feels like a family. And uh, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm talking to you guys right now. And I just wish you guys go home safely. I hope you guys had fun. And honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait for the next adventure. It's a dream team, This is, a, this is dream team. This is the dream team. Dream team. So we're back home. Um, I'm editing this video. I just wanted to say that this was by far the most heartbreaking, emotional yet eye-opening experience that I've ever had. I really can't put into words how we felt after leaving. And, you know, looking back and editing this video, I, I, I wish I did a better job actually being able, like, to document everything for you guys, because I feel like 
I didn't do a good job in, in, in explaining and portraying how it actually was and how it went. I really just didn't get enough footage um, to explain it properly. And so I apologize for that. But I do want to emphasize that these families really do need our help. A lot of them are completely reliant on these donations that you guys provide. You guys have absolutely blown me away with how much support you guys have shown. We've raised about $57,000 at the time of me recording this. Inshallah, the goal is 65,000. That would be enough to sponsor about 125 orphans for the entire year, um, which I know that we can do. I love you guys so much. I made dua for the 1,452 of you guys that donated. May Allah bless you guys and honor you and increase your risk. I mean, I mean, I mean. That's gonna be it for me. Make sure to donate. Link is in my bio. والسلام عليكم <تصفيق>